I met Joe in my freshman year of college. I didn't know him so well, but uh, the girl he was dating at the time was a good friend of mine. And she was to be my housemate the next year. And uh, so naturally Joe just kind of started hanging out a lot. We learned we we each played music freshman year before and uh, never really connected, but the next year we started playing. Um, and then I met Torin on his first day of college ever in his first class. We just happened to sit next to each other. Got to chat and he owned a banjo, didn't know how to play it, um, but he came over and we figured it out. Yeah, no, nobody, nobody, nobody in our band has a felony. A few misdemeanors. <laughs> but basically playing jam music is a, it's just a really fun, easy way to have a, have a get together and make it musical, so. percent influenced by bluegrass but mostly it's rock and roll with acoustic instruments this is bluegrass instrumentation but it's not really a bluegrass album that one is going to be bringing some elements that we don't have usually that's going to have like steel guitar drums organ and what i love about that sort of thing is trying to take what some bands might be familiar with as far as an instrumentation and doing something different with it in the pre-production process, we I think we came up with over 20 songs that we were considering putting on the album. Where so everybody's actually singing about not necessarily stuff in their own life, but things they've experienced or things they witness in people's lives that they care about or know. Being in a long-distance relationship. Addiction. Mental health. COVID. And depression. And use this album to help spread some awareness and maybe bring some hope somewhere along the lines. I think that's important for people right now. And so every song on this album is uh, it's just real. It's, it's steeped in reality. A lot of this stuff happened really fast. Some of these songs we had written years ago in some form, and some of them are brand new. Uh, I'm really excited where the song Time Undone has come. It's uh, really heavy hitting, and I think it's going to be really, really punchy and fun to play live. I've been flown in here in between. I still miss your original soul saying keep on going, you gotta keep on. Our song, Stand at Ease, was really fun to do. We did that yesterday and it has like 24 vocal parts on it right now or something ridiculous like that. So that was really cool to just hear how something that we had in our heads was able to translate to the studio. And I'm just really excited to hear where that one ends up. You know, there's elements of indie rock, there's elements of alternative rock, there's elements of bluegrass, there's elements of jam, there's elements of folk music. There's so many different things that came together for this album. 